Hello everyone, today I will showcase our new Foundry product um, and I will start from uploading some data into a new data set. So I already created a data set, but if you need to create a data set, you just need to create a plus new, add the name and a description and you can add some data. I will upload file from my local storage here. I will take all those images and it will ingest that to label box within the label box storage depending on the size and the number of uh, images or the types of media you want to use, it may take a while. So it's recommended to use the SDK to ingest any kind of data. So now that is ingesting, the data will be processed. And I have all my data now. Let's make sure that I have everything. 15. Okay, I've got everything. So now I'm gonna use the capability of Foundry to run some uh, prediction on those. So I will select all, I will click on predict with Foundry. Um, we have several different foundation model available, um, but for the presentation of this short demo, I will use uh, Yolo V8. The convenience on Yolo V8 is, is well known on the OCR world, and there is an ontology that is uh, suitable to my use case here. It's basically images of different traffic situations, um, and what I would like to have is basically uh, persons, cars, and different traffic signs. So there is different parameters that I will add a link uh, to the documentation. If you need to adjust those, I will just bump the conversion threshold to make sure that I get the highest prediction that I can get. And I will change the model size to small, given that I have a very small amount of data that I can run prediction to it will be faster. So we have the convenience to run some previews. So in order to make sure that the settings are actually returning prediction you would like, you would just be able to do that by running those prediction. And this is it, that will start to run some prediction and, um, and here I have already some prediction. So here I have a raw one, it's a bus, not really a bus, but okay, but this is one prediction. Um, I have three car here, great. And I have two person here, a car here, cars here. In here, the traffic light is detected and the detection here. Um, the only thing that I'm not really happy with is that it hasn't detected any traffic light which here and here. So let's try to go just down a tiny bit and generate this prediction again. Quick tip here, you have uh, this little log button and you basically can have more detail onto those predictions if you need to, or if there is no prediction, you have this convention to understand um, that there is no detection here. But let's come back to my use case. In here, I reduce the confidence threshold and it seems that now it's picking up some traffic light one to here, so I'm much more happy with that. Now this one, I guess is too blurry, but it's okay. All right, so once you're happy with it, you can click on submit and it will run a job for you on all the images you have selected previously. And you can follow the job submission uh, on the notifications tab. And if you if you see that is uh, in one number for a long time, depending on the size of your model, it may take a bit of time, but you can always use the refresh capability we have here. You can also go back to the model tab and the model you selected and we create a model run and you'll be able to see um, this model run in progress here. Once it's done, you should be able to see all the images. Um, but let's go back to the notifications tab so at least you can see some. Uh, all right, the job is now complete and directly via the notifications uh, tab, you can basically click on the view model run and catalog and I will be able to see my prediction directly uh, with the adequate filter. So as a refresher, we saw that the preview show a bus and we have a bus and we have a confidence threshold, sorry. 
and then here I can see uh, my cars and the two light posts. I uh, remember that I configured that 0.7, so that's why they were not shown because they are 0.67 and 0.65. So that makes sense to me, um, and everything looks good. So now what is very powerful here is that you can, sorry, let's go back to the catalog for a second. Is that you can use this prediction um, and basically shortcut the process. So if you create a project here, I will add my ontology first. All right, and then when I'm done, I will use the data. I just run the model for, which I here, if I take everything, you should be able to include model predictions. And if you decide to do so, you can map an existing ontology to the default ontology. So in here, you can see that this is the number of predictions that was returned. Um, so you can map the ontology accordingly. Actually, let me undo that. This is car, car, and then pass, pass, and so on and so forth. Truck and finally traffic light. So just have a quick glance into if everything matching up to your requirement. You can save that. And don't forget to select the steps. So in here, I want to use them as predictions. So I will use as initial labeling, but if you want to use those as ground truth, you can send them to any configured uh, workflow step you have. So let's submit this. You can go to the not notification pass jobs uh, and you should be able to see the, the stage of the implode on the upload. And I can see the predictions are here. You can also use this uh, mosaic view to see all of your um, prediction from there. And then because those are prediction, you can start labeling. So this one I didn't have any prediction, so I'm gonna skip that. And then basically you can change that and you can change the class. Um, I think let's agree this is a truck and we just change the class and you submit and you're done and you can repeat this process. Um, this, everything looks good so you can submit, but you get the gist of it. Um, basically by having those inferences already in level box, you have the efficiency and the very speed to have already prediction run for you um, within a model. And that's it for today's video. Thank you.